Hi, I'm Mark Littler and I'm an independent antiques consultant and whiskey broker. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why you do not need to send a sample of your cask off in order to get offers back for your cask. As we've said in other videos, it's important to get a sample for your cask of whiskey when you're getting it re-gauged prior to deciding whether to sell or not. And when you get it back, you're probably going to get a 100 milliliter bottle back, something a little like this. Now this has obviously had a bit of the sample taken out. Now one of the main mistakes that people make is that they post their sample off to people in order to try and get offers for their cask. Now this is completely unnecessary and you do not need to do this in order to get evaluation or offers from your cask. Now you may think that you need to taste the whiskey in order to gauge the quality and therefore establish the price and yes for some older casks of whiskey 25 30 plus years old that might be the case but broadly speaking it's the same as if you were selling a car if you tell someone that you've got a Ferrari F40 with 25,000 miles on it and here's its full service history the buyer and lots of photographs as well the buyer can make a lot of assumptions and give you an offer based on those details that you provided it's likely that they would then test drive the car to assume that all the details that you provided were correct and all the assumptions made were correct and then commit to the purchase and it's the same with your cask of whiskey if you tell someone that you've got a 15 year old cask of Brocladi at 62.5% ABV, it's been in a refill bourbon barrel its entire life, they'll be able to give you a very good idea of the value and base an offer on the details that you've provided. Although this might be the only cask that you have and it's the only cask that you're there for, you've got to sell, people in the industry do this on a day in, day out basis. They do not need a sample of the cask in order to give you an offer. At Mark Little Limited, all we need from you is a photograph of the sample because that will show how active the cask has been. So you can see this sample is very dark, so it's been a very active cask compared to this sample here, which is very light, so it's been a very inactive cask. So this sample, even though it's 10 years old, is much darker than this one, which is 30 years old. So you really don't need to send a sample off. You just need to send a photograph off so that the buyers can ascertain how active that cask has been and only when you've got an offer that you're happy to proceed with do you need to post that sample out and for that reason it's the same as test driving a car. Before you commit to spending £10,000 on this cask of whiskey you want to give it a try just to check that there's been no defects. We've got lots of other video guides at marklittler.com and if you've got any questions just let me know and I'll be happy to help.